Yo guys, Christ here, back in the video, and we have finally been blessed with our expansion news. So, Forgen Island is the next expansion coming in, or the first expansion, coming into Forza Horizon 4. Now I'm going to give you all the details that you need to know about this. Any rumors, maybe, or leak things that have actually happened. Uh, so, first off, I'm sure you've heard this multiple times. The release date is December 13, so not far away as I'm making this video on the 10th of November. It is just a little bit over a month away. So, don't we don't have to wait a very long time until this expansion comes out. So, just a little bit of what is actually happening in this expansion. Uh, something that they said in the trailer they might have saw already. It's basically the, biz, uh, the biggest expansion that they have ever made. So, this is interesting because Blizzard Mountain was fairly big. Storm Island had the decent size. Hot Wheels was this huge different world that was pretty big too. And not only they, did they say the biggest map, they said it's the most extreme. And I'm wondering since I thought Hot Wheels was pretty extreme. Did you think Hot Wheels was pretty extreme? So if they're going more extreme than Hot Wheels, I don't know what that could possibly mean. Uh, but we do know we're getting thunderstorms and such, which I'll touch on a little bit. So a lot about the expansion. Obviously, it is a Fortune Island. It is a mountainous place. So some of the cool things you'll be able to do, like I said, are going to be the mountain roads and everything. You're going to be able to go through these certain areas of the mountains that are like cut out like caves and stuff and different ravines and throughout the different parts of the lakes across these big old bridges that are kind of crazy and there's quite a big forest as well in there as we've seen as part of the trailer and especially with the uh, new weather that we're going to see maybe that's going to make forest driving a little bit harder if we have falling trees coming down which could be part of the uh, extremeness of it and I think that will actually happen so like I said we're going to have thunderstorms in this game now they say extreme I think thunderstorms are pretty extreme I think we're going to have like high winds or something maybe where your car is actually going to slightly lift a little bit if there's a huge wind gust the lightning strike might uh, strike part of the mountain on the side and it's going to fall and it could wreck into your car maybe when you're driving up a mountain or something and you it can strike your car or something I don't know who who really knows I think there is going to be a part of the thing where it's going to like strike a mountain or something or going to cause rocks to fall because uh, they said it, it is extreme so I'd say that's pretty extreme next up are some of the cars we're going to be getting so obviously we don't know all of the cars uh, we usually get a good amount of cars. I would say we'd get like maybe eight, uh, eight or ten cars in an expansion. Not too bad. Uh, so cars we already know are in the game are the uh, Lamborghini Urus. And these other three cars have already been either leaked or said they're coming out. And this would fit them perfectly. The Ford Ranger Raptor. I'm almost confident that this will be somewhat part of this expansion either a barn find or just a car you get from it because it's already in like the files and everything and it's gonna be you know it's gonna be the perfect time to put out this car the other one would be the uh, ram rebel trx same situation as the ford ranger raptor and they already said the diverti drift truck would be in the game i think this would be a perfect time to do that because of the switchback roads which we're going to talk about right now is that they said it is the biggest uh, chunk of roads that they have ever put together so a bunch of switchback roads so we're gonna be able to climb up the mountains up and down up and down down and left whatever you want to do if you've ever played gta it's going to kind of be like mountain chili and you know how you have the path going up to the mountain except it's obviously paved or paved and it can be dirt because we're going to have a different amount of dirt roads in this game which are going to be definitely fun maybe there's going to be a path on the mountain that you can go that is the dirt road maybe another path that is the uh, paved area a couple other graphical things in here are obviously the northern lights the auroras or whatever i think this is going to be very interesting because like i said it's only going to be something that shows up at night probably and i don't think it's going to happen you know every night or whatever it might be like the blizzard and blizzard mountain where it's sometimes there it's sometimes not you really never really know because like the auroras are there every single night in norway or whatever another interesting feature that was said is the treasure hunt so treasure hunts to me i think it's going to be some type of uh, obviously we're gonna have the barn finds and such that's not probably not part of this but I'm thinking there's gonna be like some type of treasure hunt system where maybe at the beginning of the expansion you get a clue right and this clue maybe it says um, beneath a mile high of the mountain on a curved road that makes a letter S or something and you go there and it's gonna give you another clue and I think it's gonna lead you to a certain car they're gonna unlock in the expansion or a certain you know characteristic of maybe a uh, 
a shirt or a moat or something. I think there'll be like multiple different things, but you'll be able to use like multiple different clues at the time, and you never know which one's gonna lead to what. And I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, that's just my opinion on it. I think that'd be the coolest way to do it. Whether they do that, uh, who knows. Also, this hasn't been confirmed, but it's been rumored around that there's gonna be new race types. And what comes to mind to me is mountain climb. So I'm thinking, uh, maybe with the whole route creator as well, there's gonna be ways, like a whole nother game mode where you can do this um, tr uh, mountain climb type thing where you do point to point, but you have to climb a certain amount of area in the mountain. Can you imagine 12 different people going up and down the mountain? And we've obviously have the good old infected. Maybe that's gonna be the top of the mountain, who knows? I'm also pretty sure there's gonna be a beauty spot at the top of the mountain. I can't wait to see that actually. Um, another thing is with the whole seasons that Forza has, uh, there's a lot of water on this map, especially from what we've seen in the trailer. If that freezes over, that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, you know, maybe there's going to be playground games there. Who knows? Not a whole lot of information on that right now. And finally, this is something I noticed in the trailer that no one has really talked about right now. That is the new homes. Uh, so in the trailer, it showed a home after a bridge. Looks like it'd be a fairly expensive house, like maybe five million or something. I think that's going to be. Uh, maybe like your headquarters, maybe where uh, obviously it's your house and such, but uh, y you know, I think that's going to be the main area of the map right there, kind of like the Edinburgh Castle. Uh, so that's going to be fun as well. So make sure to leave your comments below on what cars you think. I wanted to see what cars you possibly think are going to be in here. Maybe list like three cars or something. Uh, you know, I'll pin whatever comment gets the most likes or something for what cars you want to see. And maybe if you do find out any more rumors or such, just put them in the comments below so people watching this will be able to see that as well. This has been It's With Gaming. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you stayed this long and you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. Share, push, post notifications on if you really want to, if you're really into that, uh, because I will be doing a Let's Play this in about a month when it comes out. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.